Hello and welcome to Building Modern APIs with RESTful video series. My name is Matteo Guilo and in this video I want to show, show you how <clears throat> you can install the latest version as of this video of the RESTful module. So um, the first thing that I want you to do is uh, go to, to the GitHub with me uh, and that is very easy to get to if you go to the drupal.org project page you will see that there is a link saying that uh, everything is handled in, in github so just go here and the readme uh, it's gonna be there right so um, the first thing that you're gonna find is that you need to uh, in order to install the the RESTful module, you need to install the Entity API with the following patch. Um, this is not gonna be necessary for all of your implementations, but it's certainly uh, it's certainly a good thing to to have. So I'm not gonna go uh, in the details of how to apply a patch to the Entity API module. Uh, that is something that there's plenty of documentation, probably Google can help you with that. I'm just gonna show you uh, what the link looks, uh, what the patch looks like. Uh, it's not a very big patch and um, it has been applied for uh, eight months now in production sites without any, without any problem. So uh, yeah, go ahead and install that that patch and and then simply I do trash dl select and uh, you probably want to say that you want to download the restful module all right so this is gonna offer you the different options I want you to download the 2.x version um, you could do the same thing as I did by going to sorry, go to restful by going here and downloading this and expo expanding it in the in whatever directory you want. So uh, this is this just downloaded the the project into this folder and I'm gonna enable it trash enable restful and again uh, it's going to require entity API in this uh, in this demo site I already have entity API with the patch installed um, so uh, you're not going to see that you're going to do that uh, on your own um, and here what is telling me what I'm trying to enable the restful module is that uh, this module requires the the plug module so, if Drush offers you to download it for you, you probably want to say yes. And uh, let this run a little bit. Um, so, this wants to enable these two modules, the RESTful module and the dependency. So, we say yes. Um, and wait for a little bit for this to, to install all right so uh, this was successfully enabled um, that's that's cool uh, make sure that uh, you have all of the dependencies to install the plug module which I think it's the registry autoload module and uh, that's it so uh, once you have this enabled, uh, you can go into here, configuration, and go over to web services. And you'll see that uh, you have a configuration page, which is basically um, a way of telling you uh, or a way of allowing you to configure some of the of the options that the RESTful module comes with, but it will not allow you to create resources because that's uh, created with code. So this is how you 
install the the RESTful module. Uh, make sure you, you check these these options. Uh, we probably want to use JSON API. Uh, if you want to allow uh, uploading files, you want to check this and see if you want the anonymous users to upload files. You probably want or not. <coughs> and some of the so some of the important options uh, are that. Uh, this is going to be the base path for your API. I want to call it just API, so I'm good with the, the default. But if you want to call it something, uh, I don't know, different, if you ca have a code name for your API, you could do a um, code name here. And every API URL will, will be your domain. Then uh, whatever uh, modification you have for, for your URL, and then code name, and then uh, your your API resource lives under here. So yep, I'm gonna leave it in API and save this, and that's it. Uh, next, we're gonna start uh, with our code editor, and we're gonna create a custom module that holds our that holds our resources. That's it. Thank you.